Hello and welcome to your December 5th uh, daily reading. This is the Daily Vibe with Royal Mystic. And I'm very excited that everybody's enjoying this and I'm enjoying it as well. Uh, let's just, let's get it going. This is all about the vibe of the day, not necessarily your horoscope sign. It's just about uh, daily affirmation. So thank you angels, archangels. Divine white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, divine, for your presence here. We appreciate all of your good energy and information and you're always welcome. Thank you so much. All right, so three cards face down. Let's see if I can get it this time without uh, flipping them. I always want to show them too fast. Showing my cards. I'm not a poker player. At least not 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 recently, huh? So we uh we know that all of these cards have been anointed by the prayer because they were here. And I almost looked that I had to think about it. <laughs> and we're gonna get into the angel cards. These are the uh, Angel Oracle cards, the beautiful pink, gold, and butterflies in her hair. She's got this beautiful orb, and I feel like that's the card, so we're going to set it right here. I'm going to change that around and set it there. Then we have the Ancient Wisdom Oracle cards. And the one on top is the one I'm leaving for... When we reveal, it's always fun to see the surprise. And these lovelies, which I can't really hide the energy of. Flexibility, that's our word for the day, flexibility. And I'll turn it over in just a second, we're gonna Shuffle these the best we can. I'm taking this one. Okay. Guardian Angel cards. Okay, so flexibility is the word of the day, and it says, I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. Very, very nice card. I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. So that is a really good example of being able to roll with the punches. So we've got a timekeeper card. We've got the six of wands and the hanged man. Looks like you are, some of you are waiting for your victory. That's what that tells me right away. So the Three of Swords can also mean feeling um, uh, betrayed in some way. But it looks like even though you're in the hanged man position here, you are the victor and you may not know it yet. So this card can also mean three days, three weeks, three months, and third time's a charm. And this would be the part about remaining flexible. You'd have to be pretty daggone flexible to, to be the hanged man because he got himself up there all by himself. Um, and, and know that the victory is yours, even though you're in a place of, of suspended animation at the moment. So there's where you're worrying about getting what you want, okay? These are the, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is the over-analysis paralysis card. That is the very opposite definition of being flexible. So what's happening for this particular energy is that it's becoming overwhelming because you're in that weight pattern and it's just trying to drive you crazy. Uh, and then here comes the King of Swords, which is the Archangel Michael. Uh, he is also the remover of a lot of obstacles and a very... A big energy regarding cutting ties and allowing you so allowing you to choose so this eight of swords here all of a sudden this choice is made that sword is pulled from this pile and we're ready to move forward and that's a very quick movement in this new beginning so coming down off of the perch 
ready to start the new beginning with the Fool. And the Fool is the uh, brand new transition and smooth transition. So some of you are making that transition. And uh, today's energy is all about uh, rolling with whatever's going on because sometimes we think something's going to go one way and it doesn't it goes another so let's see what the angels have to say so if you have been having any issues regarding uh, having a cold or any kind of health issue this is showing improving health that's what they're so they're sending you energy for that if somebody is well we can all use improving health on I mean, you know. <laughs> So, uh, and if it's for a loved one, uh, that is a wonderful energy to have. This is a very good high vibration. So, sending you lots of that. Transition. And there's the transition card. So, this is all about being in that moment of flux. And flux, flex, you know, you've got to be able to, to bend with it so that you don't snap off, okay? Creativity. That is our angelic message from the guardian angels. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help you unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. So we're talking about creativity and allowing this new thing to happen. Then we also have the uh, transition and the fool here, which is showing that heart of a child. Okay, when you make the transition, I'm moving it down so you can see a little better. When you make the transition and everything starts to move around, um, it's going to be very smooth, but we have to use the heart of a child to come in as an innocent. Uh, and you see, you don't have a lot of room to carry anything, so you've got to leave all the garbage behind. All the old baggage has to be left. So the transition is moving from the old into the new and using your creativity to have the new energy also because you're creating a new thing this is each new day is a new day uh, is a new energy is a new possibility and so even if it feels like you're doing the same old thing you're really not is if you believe in making changes on a daily basis as far as moving progressing towards your goal the creativity you have is how you can imagine it improving in that day so I am very much a law of attraction person and I really think that uh, the adaptability to change is the key to being able to move from where you don't uh, have what you want to where you do have it because you have to imagine it the entire time so your creativity is definitely in play. Um, this beautiful uh, King of Swords is here. He's also the victor. This is the hero's welcome. The Six of Swords is the victory parade. Um, so moving through this story, there's a lot of creativity and flexibility happening. And uh, this, this um, Eight of Swords can also be about someone who's feeling very overwhelmed. If you've gotten any kind of, um, if, you're, if you're doing any kind of uh, healing work, for yourself, for your for your body, for your heart, for your soul, uh, you would have to heal if that were uh, a betrayal. Um, but this is a time period: three days, three weeks, three months. Third time's the charm, uh, or recovering from. You know, what are my options now? So this is definitely uh, that energy of creativity and flexibility. I wish you all the very best. Uh, and and the best passage with your transition. Many blessings to you and namaste. I hope you enjoy the dailies. I'll see you tomorrow.